permission to unmute granted <laughs> I'm unmute granted uh good morning fan cakes and champions alike uh my name is sean i'm coming to you live from the safe isolated confines of codename entertainments studying streaming studio in beautiful victoria british columbia canada uh with me today and forever is the guy you know the guy who makes the pancakes it's lee I'm the guy that makes the pancakes. I'm also your forever best friend, and I say welcome to you from the sweltering, burning pits of Tartarus. It's hot. It's still hot. It's still hot. I've been playing a lot of Hades. It's. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Uh, no, it's hot, but it's cooling down. Ooh, you know, it's only the middle of October, so we're gonna go into the upper 90s the next week. Uh, and of course, we have the mysterious man moderator behind the scenes sasha sasha, sasha! sasha! of course sasha's co-producing and helping to moderate with us today um uh, always a pleasure uh yeah so uh man we released a new uh, a whole new campaign on wednesday i'm Zoinks. rhyme the frost maiden it's out it's cold that's why it's chilly outside that's the code for today it's, it's chilly outside <laughs> Uh, and I also, last night, came up with a hidden code. So That's right. I have You've a, got hidden, a code, hidden code, which you guys can hopefully try and figure out. Uh, Star Tracer 43, Sean, what was for breakfast? Absolutely nothing. Uh, because <laughs> I woke up a bit late today, and I did not sleep well, so I just kind of rushed to work, got ready, and here I am. <laughs> breakfast! Huh. Yeah. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> this is my surprise face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? This is my pancake face. I'll make one. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, your boy Yankee. So the all soul I almost froze to death when getting the mail this morning. Oh yeah, it happens. Oh, am I am I quiet, Mycroft? Here, I'll go up a little bit. I think, I think my sound is super high today, so everything sounds a bit louder to me. So. All right, is that better? Uh, did CR leave you a little too excited last night? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I was I was super pumped all last night. I was making nachos, so. We'll talk about it, Nando. Cool. Good, still working. Uh, yeah, it's like yeah, it's just like in my kitchen and being like, I'm pumped. <laughs> like, let's go. Uh, also, I I spurged a little bit yesterday when they launched when they announced that uh that like Vax cloak thing. Um. I bought it like an hour after that post went up. I saw it and I was like, great, boom, boom, done. Uh, yeah, I think I saw that post yeah. because you said, well, I may have accidentally bought this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was an accident. It was fully, it was my, my loaded um, uh, impulse gun. It was like, bang, <laughs> it just went off. Uh, Dr. Dan Cake. Uh, with guys. or with that? Oh, hey. Hey, Dr. Dan Cake's hanging out. Hey guys, Sean is looking beautiful. Oh, thank, thank you. Uh, and Lee's hands are looking good as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, uh, make 543, so in-game challenge Steam has been down for two days already. Oh, no. Uh, that is uh, up in our morning meeting, so that should be fixed relatively soon. Uh, I wasn't here. On, I wasn't in the office on Wednesday because I wasn't feeling too good. Uh, so I missed a lot of that. Uh, <laughs> hidden code is not but warm here. No. Uh, right, hidden, hidden code. I'm going to give a hint on the hidden code. Hmm. Apparently it was sold out by around. Oh wow. Uh, hints for the hidden code. I'm so bad with hints. Uh, it's based off of a movie that's kind of related to what we launched on Wednesday. I guess that's okay. Oh, even even Sasha's net break didn't have breakfast, so <gasps> it's not just me. Got three brand new pieces of gear from the chest today. Thanks again. Nice. Good, Good one, Brightwind Inc. Love it. So that guy, uh, my day job that I introduced to the game. Yep. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I expected him to be kind of like, oh, man, it's pretty cool, man. If I play it, it's fun. Anytime I see him now and I look over in his phone. He's running, uh, he's running a, yeah, squared. That's good. That's good. Yeah. We have converted another one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's uh, cool because he's, uh, he's going back to his, 
his house. Hell yeah. And hopefully coming back with, um, with the, like, the, he's got a bunch of the Forgotten Realms books. Oh. Yeah. Because then maybe I can understand a little bit about what's happening. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. This, like, there were, oh, I, I think we just, there was a Humble Bundle that was selling, like, Books like it was like four to fourteen of the Dritz novels or something like that. Zoinks. Yeah. Uh, your boy Yankee's asking how much we have to bribe Lee to show us his phone. Uh, I don't think I messaged him the uh, the code. So. Mm -mm. So even if I did, even if. Even but if I, I can give you some totally. Um, he knows the, what's off, going off, on here. Yeah. Path, yeah. The movie he's talking about may or may not be The Sandlot. I haven't watched The Sandlot in like, God knows how long. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I may have rewatched it yesterday. No, that's a lie. I can't even. That, everyone, that's such a blatant lie. Everyone would know. Jeff, yeah. I haven't <laughs> seen that in years, or maybe yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I watched it during Critical Role. X. Yeah. <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. Yeah. You know what is killing me? God damn Google. Google Docs. Gosh darn. Gosh darn Google. It's killing me. Uh, Dr. Dan Cake wants to know, since it's the Halloween season, I want to ask both of you what are your favorite horror movies? Oh. Okay, I have an answer. Okay. And it is it is a, a cheat because it is by no means a horror movie, but it is my favorite movie that has ghosts. So it works. And I will say, yeah, that actually scared me. No, um, <laughs> Michael J. Fox and the Frighteners is, the Frighteners? it is one of my top, like top movies of all time. I loved it so much. I've seen that. Oh. Uh, oh, it, Hank, have you seen it? it? Oh, it's a, it's a horror comedy. So you're good. Right. Yeah. Um, my favorite horror movie hits a little bit too close to home. I don't know if you went with really classify a horror. I thought it was scary as all hell. Uh, Contagion. It just yeah. Um, it's it, it it's so visceral and real, right? That it just like when I watched it in theaters when it came out like years ago, I was like, oh my god, like I can't. Yeah. Uh, that and, actually, and that and Thirteen Ghosts. Thirteen Ghosts was good. It's so cheesy, but it's, it's not that scary. But like, I liked it. It was fun. The DVD had like the menus you can go through, and you can like look up all of the thirteen ghosts and see their story backlines and stuff. And I was like, ooh, that's cool. Yeah. What about you guys in chat? And Hank, what's your favorite spooky movie? <laughs> uh, your boy Yankee says signs traumatized me as a kid. Oof. Robo Goblins. Mm -hmm. I love thirteen ghosts. Yes, it was. A, it's a good movie. <laughs> I'm I'm ashamed that I don't have more love coming for Frighteners. Uh, the Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the one. Uh, Sarah Robin says I love the original The Fog with Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. The uh, Mycroft says the first Hellraiser. I I haven't seen Hellraiser. Uh, Gar doesn't watch scary movies. Uh, and uh, Sean Rickon says, did, Contag did Contagion hit close to home now? So close to home. It's so, like... Yeah, yeah I'm sure there's some movies. I, I remember when when the lockdown was, like, starting. Like, it was just everyone was like, hey, I'm walking my dog. And um, I, like, kind of see through a window as I'm walking. Someone was watching uh, Outbreak. Okay. And I'm like, like, maybe he's a little too soon, guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this, uh, Kid Lake 101 wants to know if the code is 12 for a flip? Uh, yeah, let's go. Ooh, what's that? I wonder what this is. Uh, well, this is our GE for this week. Really easy to guess whose it is. Because it was the icon of the, the, the current adventure. Uh, this is Beetle and Grimm's Slot 4 Special Order Boost. Uh, it's our tavern sign. The Giant's Bane Tavern. Ooh. <laughs> Spooky question mark. <laughs> Sasha, what's your favorite uh, horror movie? 
I want to know. Partners in 13 Ghosts definitely probably add the, the faculty and, ha and house on Haunted Hill. Oh, oh that seems good. <laughs> Although, if you ask my fiance this question, you'll get some like hardly really good answers. Yeah. Uh, she's, a, she's a horror buff. Uh, Dr. Dan King says, My favorite horror movie is Biodome. Haha, <laughs> joking. Uh, I did just watch Cabin in the Woods again. I love that movie, although a bit of a comedy. Yeah, Cabin in the Woods was, was a weird movie. Uh, <laughs> Nevada says, I'm not a big horror person, but I'll admit that when I was young, uh, really, sorry, really young, Jumanji gave me nightmares. Yeah, I can tell you what my least favorite is because mm -hmm. of exactly what Nevada is talking about, about when you were young. What? And I should not have watched this movie. Uh -oh. um, Pet Cemetery. I watched when I was like really, really young. Like, maybe oh, see the phone a little bit. <laughs> we dude, you got we got to buy you a stand. <laughs> I have one, but it's so gargantuan. <laughs> it's like great. I have it like on my bedside table, and it's funny. I uh, actually will make fun of me. She got it for my birthday though, so yeah, her fault. Oh yeah. But I will prop it so like I'm sitting on the bed and I'm playing PlayStation or something. Doing a little street fighting, maybe. I don't know. Um, but then I'll also have like an anime or a podcast or something on uh, with my phone, like just right in my face oh, for yeah. it. And I'm just all, I am tech novel. <laughs> uh, where'd it go? Uh, uh, oh, uh, especially I don't really watch horror either. The closest I get is usually thrillers. Uh, my friend had a Saw movie marathon that I was made to go to once. Oh, I don't. The Saw movies are just like, just mostly just grotesque. Yeah, they're, it's just like they're not really horror. They're just like how gory and like crazy can we make this, right? So, but isn't that in itself a genre of? Oh, totally. Horror. Yeah. Yeah, horror movies aren't really my uh, my super jam. Yeah. Although I do want to watch um, Hellraiser. Because I remember seeing a little bit of it when I was younger. Oh, yeah. Uh, Robogoblin01 says, Sean, what is your who's your favorite ghost from 13 Ghosts? Oh, God, I haven't watched that since, like, middle school. Um, I like Dave. Yeah, Dave Dave the ghost, yeah. I think it's the one with the, the that has the box on her head. Because she, like, I think, like, the story behind it was, like, she was, like, she was, like eating her fingers or something like that. It was, it was something weird. But, yeah, that, that, I mean, that one was pretty cool. So the most of the one I remember the most, so it stuck. Uh, oh, the, oh, the jackal. Ooh, man, you know the name. You guys know the name, Chief. Crazy. Maybe, maybe I'll watch it again for when, when it comes to Halloween. Uh, Astro Samurai XBL question: Does anyone actually eat those pancakes? I wish I could. It depends on the day and how hungry, but I will definitely sometimes. Not all of them, because That's a lot of pancake. Yeah, I don't want to totally turn into a pancake personally. Yeah, but when I'm hungry, yeah, and we always take a bite of Avrin. Always take a bite of Avrin. Yeah, I am that, trying that, to that get Todd rule. Kenrick's power. Yeah, to be my power. Yeah. Uh, Cassius three three five. Will we get the Beetle and Will we get Beetle and Grim in their campaign outfits as one pancake? I guess. Oh, uh, maybe at some point we haven't. We haven't. Yeah, we haven't done Beetle and Grim yet. Not yet. Yeah, there's a couple champions we haven't done yet that I would like to get on the show. Uh, quick myth roll, Sean. For question for Sean, will we get the Beelin Grim Tavern outfits as skins in game? Tavern outfits. Uh, I'm not too sure actually. Uh, Shavon, uh, Shavon Rikon, uh have you seen any Alfred Hitchcock? Uh, not horror, but suspense. I have actually not seen any Alfred Hitchcock movies. I'm not really like a like a movie aficionado. I kind of like I watch it in theater and like Ooh, like this is, this is a cool movie and like it's about as far as I get. It's so funny. There will be times where I'll be like, you know what? I just I don't have it in me to sit down and watch a movie right now. I just ugh, too much time yeah. and this and that. And then I will proceed to watch like four hours of like anime or a TV show. <laughs> yeah, it's like the the normal. Thing is, if I'm at, like, if for some reason I'm at home and Nevada's out doing something, and I just like, don't want to play any games, I'll like scroll through Netflix and maybe pick something that way. 
and that's really as far as I get in like in terms of movies. Yeah, although it's also there is the like everyone's most watched Netflix show, um, the, the select screen. Oh, the select screen, yeah. How much time have you spent trying to find something when so, you go, I don't know, man. So long, yeah. Uh, Michael, you say, I have not seen Psycho, no. The thing is, with movies like that, that are, you know, iconic movies yeah. of the past, is it like, would it still be good now? You know, would it hold up? Would... Yeah, it's, yeah the test of time is, real, is a real big thing. Yeah, that's why I want, you know, like with video games and stuff, the first video game I'll ever let Miles play will be like on the Atari. <laughs> so he'll be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm like, I know, check play out Pong, this Nintendo. Right? Like, check out this Nintendo. Like, yeah. whoa, Nintendo. Like, I know. And then just work my way up. Because if I start him off on like, hey, check out PlayStation 5 we just got. Yeah. Which is going to take some time. Yeah, you, start, you start on the Super Mario. You, I start on the, on the NES where things were just above crazy difficult, and then just work your way up. Uh, and I've thrown yeah. in the bus a little bit. So Sean always picks something either totally awful or something I, I also wanted to watch when he's alone, <laughs> which is true. Are either of you unnecessarily chatty during uh, Nevada? The no, watching she, of things. Nevada is a very smart person. So we'll oh, she figure stuff out all the time, and I and you get to hear it. about it. Yeah, so we'll be in the theater, and she'll like lean over and be like, "I think this is this," and I'm like, "You son of a bitch!" <laughs> like, just how dare you? <laughs> and so what you do there is you always have a notebook with you, right? Mm -hmm. And when you figure something out, you write it in the notebook. Yeah. And you she'll like she'll just like she'll like rip tell it me out. what it is, and then like she's like, "Oh, I think it's this." Like, you know, this guy's the killer, and I'm like, "I don't, I don't care." Like, I'm, I just, let me experience the shock by myself and not figure it out. And then, like, you know, half an hour later, oh, he's the killer. I'm like, you, God, come on. It, ru it ruins <laughs> movies. Although, I do crack jokes during movies sometimes. Um, we were at uh, The Hunger Games, the first one. Uh, and there's the scene when Katniss is, like, applying medicine to what's-his-face, like, across his forehead. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, doing, like, the thumb kind of rub. And I was just like, ah, Simba, like, in the theaters. And it was, like, yeah. this, like super quiet, like, moment or ever no it was just like everyone was like oh it's so sweet and then just simba oh oh pita right and just everyone in the square around me just you can just hear like laughter i was like oh whoops that's a bit louder than i thought it was gonna be so you're that guy yeah yeah i'm that guy i try to like i try to not to talk during movies but then if i start talking then we converse and just uh, your boy Yankee mm -hmm. says, <laughs> oh, by the way, the Monk's Hotcake Inn is still standing. Yes. Glad to hear. <laughs> uh, Astro Samurai XBL, question follow-up. If you're going to be, if you're going to become what you eat, what would, oh, Sasha, uh, what would be the D&D &D pancake that would transform you for one day? What would be the, oh, okay, so if you're going to eat like a. Like gain the power of the pancake I make? Yeah. Avon, right? <laughs> Yeah, I've been trying to get Averin <laughs> for since the show started. Yeah. <laughs> Sash just wrote, my light just started flickering. Am I going to die? It's the 13 ghost Sasha. I'm sorry. We've summoned them. Uh, I'd probably eat a mind, either a mind flayer or a beholder. I mean, just be that. Shooting them beams. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Everywhere, yeah. But they'd be like pancake beams, so like you'd have like a ray of embutterment. <laughs> ray of embutterment, yeah. So a beam that just flips people upside down. Uh, Mr. Meat Zombie, I just went to type in a code attempt and my game broke. Oh no. That is too, not the secret it's, it's, code. Yeah, that is not the secret code. It's too fast. How was, how was your D&D game yesterday, Mr. Meat Zombie? Hopefully it was fun. Um, <laughs> almost done. Almost ready for a flip. Getting there. Getting there. What is what is your favorite movie, Lee? I, think, I don't know if we've gone over this or not or talked about this. Uh, here I will answer it 
mm-hmm. in the way I actually wrote it down today because there was one of those describe your favorite movie in the most boring way possible. Oh, I, I did see it, yeah. And my response was, tax expert does a really bad job. And if anyone guesses it, I will give a pretty substantial hint to our code. Oh. But you have to guess it before I say it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh-oh. Sasha's light's now gone out. Oh, no. The ghosts are here. <laughs> oh, God. But the ghosts are really respectful of our show because they didn't take yeah, off the interview. They're going to wait. Uh, okay. So here are some guests. Guesses. Uh, well, Doctor Dan Cake's favorite movie is The Lord of the Rings. All three of them, hands down. Yeah, uh, and that's uh, the Doctor Dan Cake's is uh, Hank currently. Yeah, I know this because he won't shut up about Lord of the Rings. First, I'm going to flip this pancake though. Okay, go. Bar. Bar. <laughs> bar. It's a bear. Bar. <laughs> I'm bear. Bar. <laughs> uh, I believe this is one of the new monsters that we have in Icewind Dale. Uh, I need to find the thing that Dylan sent me so I know what we're making today. Because I am not prepared. Do we have some guesses? Uh, yeah. Oh. Do you know there's no bio for on D&D Beyond for polar bears? Yes, because I read emails. But yeah, that's yeah, crazy. I read emails now, yeah. Uh, okay. So, guesses. The first guess uh, from uh, Crip Cynic was the accountant. Incorrect. Uh, Jill Kill says sneakers. Sneakers? Yeah. Wow. No. No. Uh, NH Wolf 81 falling down. Nope. Uh, another accountant guess, uh, Stranger Than Fiction. Uh, it was, see, I said tax professional. The tax professional. Uh, your boy Yankee says Wolf of Wall Street. Nope. Yeah, they, they were ta- they were stock trading. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Taxes is a very important part of the, because remember this is name your favorite movie in the most boring way possible. Yeah. Uh, so it, <laughs> the Matrix. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, a polar bear. Uh, is it Disclosure? It is not. Also, think it's. It is one of the best, undeniable best movies of all time. Uh, Untouchables. No? Yeah. Uh, Shawshank Redemption? Yep. Oh. Uh, okay. E the dub. That's good job. You're, you're getting the hint. All right. What's the hint, Lee? I'm trying to think. <laughs> I might just say what the movie is. Because that, that will open the door for some guesses. Yeah. But even still, there's a lot <laughs> of potential. So the movie, Icewind Dale. It's frozen. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but Steve also Ke- remember, I might be lying. Mm-hmm. I might not know. Yeah. Uh, Steve Kevney seventy nine says Joe Dirt is the best movie of all time. <laughs> Yo, I'm Joe Dirt. <laughs> that was good. That that is a good movie. Uh, ridiculous, but you know, uh, Me Zombie was super fun. It was a long running world with multiple concurrent campaigns that cross interaction. Ooh, cool. That sounds spicy. It's, you know, what's funny is I introduced Hank to, you know, this world that we are a big part of. Oh, D&D, yeah. Yeah, D&D, tabletop gaming, yeah. all that stuff. And he, you know, so he's like, oh, yeah, you know, I don't know enough to be a DM or anything, but I had this cool idea. And they told me what his idea is. And yeah. I'm like, do me a favor like learn a little bit about what it would take for you to do DMing. Cause I <laughs> really want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's um, basically oh, he had like sure. this really cool. Um, are you okay? Yeah. The chair, like the thing popped out and I almost died. It's fine. God, ghost of killing Sasha, the chair is trying to kill me. This chair is possessed. That's it. Um, but he it was kind of like a, a dark tower. Um, like a dark tower premise of like basically just going to different dimensions or some some crazy stuff like that. I'm not doing it any justice. I'm sorry, Hank. Feel free to pipe <laughs> in if you want. Uh, <laughs> but I was just like, that sounds super cool. And I think he'd actually run a really cool game ooh. if he had the kind of self-confidence. Uh, Meat Zombie got it. 
Yoo-hoo, big summer blowout. <laughs> They got it? You got it, yeah. Oh, man, I thought there would be, like, a lot more to... That just doesn't seem like it would be the... The, the winter one, right? Yeah. The idea, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. I, I'm totally okay with that. But really, did you want the rest of the episode to be about trying to figure that code out? I mean, it's fun sometimes. <laughs> I know. Especially because it's, it's, it's more fun because I made the code this time. So. <laughs> right, yeah. you're not spoiling someone else's like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about. I was talking about Nevada last night about what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be a Frozen reference. It had to be. Um, and we thought we we're gonna, we were gonna do Love Is an Open Door at first, and then I was like, no, nah, I only wanted to do that one. And then I was like, oh, oh, yoohoo, big summer blowout. So that was, that was it. So good job, Mister Meat Zombie. Uh, Mister Meat Zombie coming in clutch. Yeah. Uh, Citrus of 43. Sean, we talked about Champions of Lore today. Oh, yes, the new show on Monday. Uh, you know, honestly, there's, there's all, like, you know, I'm not part of the marketing team. I just do this. This, this is my stream. I do, I do this stream. Uh, so I know a bit about, I, I think they're just talking about, you know, lore in, in D&D and Isle Champions and kind of the whole shebang. You know, you got... So, basically the... Walters, uh, Aaron M. Evans, and Trevor... And Trevor B? Best? B? Uh, from the Is it I, don't, I, I don't remember the last name. It's Trevor. Well, Trevor B. From the Difficulty Classic podcast. To just the three of them know their stuff, right? It's gonna be like if you have questions, you want to bring something up, they will probably just go hard. So, so it's like the lore of the Forgotten Realms that are being used in like the games, right? Like so. Yeah. And, and this is questions, not like so. This is what it is, but I think that's so because I, I mean, it's one of my deep dark shames i love like when we were playing our game with uh gar yeah and he was like yeah i've just I've never actually played the game but i know and he was like starting to like just name all this lore and i'm sitting <laughs> there like oh yeah that's right i know those things that's the yeah. thing i know yeah. i've played the game but i don't know the lore so yeah i don't know any lore and i hate that i don't know any yeah. lore and I, B -day i've watched like a couple of things i've watched a bit i know a little bit of lore um, because I watched like some of the Mr. Rex videos on YouTube, mm -hmm. and he just called it's like you know things like you know they haven't told you about gelatinous cubes or you know about giants or like here are like the top ten strongest monsters. It's just those kind of videos, um, but he he goes in the backgrounds and the lore and, and that kind of stuff. Like there was a one he did. Oh, Trevor Beatus. Uh, thank you, thank you, Sasha. Um, there was one he did about I think it was about like the more like, more close to the Theros. About like the strongest like race in D anD D, and it was about like the the Titans, and so the Titans were oh. created by gods, but they they were they're too the Titans are too strong, so that they're they're strong enough to actually kill gods, and they there was one Titan that was strong enough, and it was Kronos, that they 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 have locked him in a perpetual illusion, um, and he is like the illusion is just him fighting for eternity, and every god he's fought in that illusion he's killed. Uh, so at I some thought point, the Titans, I thought the Titans were the parents of the gods. Like, uh, no, they I, beget the gods. I, that's I think that's I think that's, oh, closer that's, to our, that's closer to Greek mythology. I think I might be wrong on that not, one. Not Theresian. Yeah, not the Therosian. Yeah. <laughs> not have to see you close, but I can go spend some resin. <laughs> go spend the resin, Mister Meat Zombie. We have interesting. Oh, sorry, uh, yes. Yeah, Mr. Reed Zombie and I have been playing Genshin Impact together. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, nice. Yeah. I just started playing that song. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's for a free game. It's it's really good. And I'm playing it probably on the worst uh, oh, UI. On, on but yet still... It's it's not bad Really phone, fun. Yeah, it yeah. works. It, it's good on the phone. Yeah. I don't like There's touch screen controls, a... personally. That's why, yeah. I, I mean, that's why I moved to a PC, but... There are certain times where there's a precision that I lack because of that. Yeah. But, you know. Uh, wow, I am um, quick pacing this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's been half an hour. Calm down. Jeez. Yeah, we're going to have some bonus fun yeah. for sure today. Uh, Bright when Nick, I had to drop Genshin and keep blue screening my low end laptop. Oh, that sucks. 
I will say that it does my brand new phone that has just so much like power to it. It does. Um, it is the only thing so far that has made it get a little hot. Yeah. Not hot, hot, but like, I'm like, Ooh. Yeah. It's getting, it's getting warm. Yeah. Uh, uh, Siobhan Rakan's Genshin Impact. It's like a, it's the, the kind of big new, um, uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha mm-hmm. game. Yeah. So, uh, Genshin Bootler DRM is brutal. Anti cheat. Oh, yeah. I, I, I imagine so. If it's going to be on PC as a gacha game, yeah. One liquid glass one. I just taught my six year old daughter that you can color pancakes. Lost her mind. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. She, you've come to the right place. <laughs> She's going to be asking for purple, blue, green, pink, red, every color rainbow pancakes now. Uh, if you are on Twitter, follow and uh, shout out to me at Goldberg337. And uh, if you want any pointers or you want me to walk you through any ideas or anything like that, I would be absolutely thrilled to help my fan cakes fan cake. <laughs> and then pancake, yeah. whatever you make, definitely send me and uh, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Uh, Ready for this flip? Ooh, let's go. I've never seen one of these before in my life. I don't know what it is. Hey, Sean. I'm an owl bear. I'm an owl bear. <laughs> I'm owl bear. Did you see my um, owl bear mind player pancake yeah, I the, made? The owl, yeah, the owl bear mind player. Yeah. That was a fun one. <laughs> You've doomed yourself now. Your daughter will never touch a regular pancake again. Yeah. Uh... Lucy Jacobs asking, so do you guys have a go-to race class when you play D&D? Um, uh, I, I like, I, I tend to go for the, uh, my, most of my characters end up being elves of some sort. I think, I have, like, a majority of my my characters are elves, so. I don't. I, I don't, because I just, I really, I'm the, here's the idea for my character now I'll build around it kind of yeah. guy. Yeah. Like, I mean, I made the Eric Hogan, I made Laserbeak. Yeah. And it was so much fun. Did I ever think like, ooh, I'm going to make a Warlock? And no. Especially a level three Warlock where I get like a spell, two yeah. spells. But I had some really cool fun with Prestidigitation. Oh, yeah, that was good. Um, yeah. My familiar, like, my familiar alone is why I want to play in a campaign with Laser, <laughs> Laser Peak. Peak. Yeah. I had so much fun doing, like, what it would look like if a four year old drew a cartoon uh, GIF of its parent. Yeah. <laughs> to word. communicate ideas. Yeah, another word says, I think you pronounced dwarf funny. <laughs> I have never played a dwarf yet, actually. I haven't either. Yeah. I haven't played a lot of characters though. Yeah, I've I've, I've played a, a, a good amount, but they tend to be like elves and humans. Um, I haven't done anything kobold. like. Oh, and and the kobold, yeah. Uh, and I, most of my most of my characters have been spellcasters too. So I, I've played like honestly, like clerics were like my my the class I probably played the most, just different versions of it. Um, I've, had, I've played a wizard. Uh, I have a ranger in our goat in our in our in our, in our suspended uh, Icewind Dale game uh, for here at work that we got a couple sessions in, and then you know the world pandemic happened. So, uh, which I'm really excited to go back to because we got we all got minis for them, and then we used them a couple times, and then now it's like oh, it's just, he's just on my desk, mocking you. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully when I get my new 3D printer on Sunday, you know, I'll make a lot of minis. Now that I think we're getting it for, <laughs> for other stuff. Like, nope, we're getting it for, uh, I'm making minis now. I think, I think Nevada's keen you know, on the fact that minis are going to be a big part of oh, yeah, she, what she, that laser she's printer totally is aware, for. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, she's going to use for crossplay stuff too, so we're, we're going to, we'll, we'll, I will say too, know. I super enjoyed... Uh, Raps, I believe, was her. Yep. Her druid. Uh, no, not druid. Cleric. 
Was she cleric? Mm-hmm. I thought it was something else. We had two clerics. No, we had a sword. We, we didn't have two clerics, did we? Oh, we did? Oh. Yeah, Mar uh, it's just that Mars. Oh, yeah, showed Mars, up a little Mars bit. was with the arcane cleric. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Nevada played, uh, wraps the, the air genasi. Mm hmm. Who has boundary issues. <laughs> it was also really funny, too, that we, like, the trying to assist, like, she got locked up. So we gotta, oh, no, we gotta drag her away from this danger. And every time someone tried to do that kind of assist, they failed. And just the, it's one of those things where the lore in game becomes truth by roles, you know? Oh, like, yeah. Oh, because she's basically just made of air, it's really hard to get purchase. Really hard, really hard yeah, really hard to, to like, grab onto her and lift her up. And cause the, we were all stunned. Two of us kept getting stunned. Uh, uh, your boy Yankee says, uh, any artificer yet, Sean? Uh, not yet, no. Uh, we're actually we're doing this kind of neat campaign at work uh, for our lunchtime lens where it's uh, we're doing out of the abyss, but we're just doing uh, the DM and then uh, me and one of our artists Brahman. So it's the two of us. So I, I was gonna I was thinking about playing Artificer, but they only have like one healing spell, like it's healing word, and they get it like super late. So I was like, mm, you know, two people. I think I need to do. I think I need to be like an actual cleric. So I picked a grave. Can they make cleric. potions though? Artificer? I, I, I think so. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have done that, yeah. But I went with a, I went with a Grave Domain Cleric, so that way if she goes unconscious, I can just play, boom, big heal. So. Right. Yeah. Uh, Ninehammer, any spoilers today? I have to drop off work I'll drop off for work on the hour. Aw. Uh, you know, no, no big spoilers. Uh, I will say no one's asked about the buffs of the week. Did somebody? I think someone did. I think I just might have missed it. Uh, hold on, let me double check. I think I, I, think I saw uh, Owen Ten talking about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, Owen Ten uh, with Sean Weekend Buffs, right? I know we were just talking about a bunch of other stuff during the time. Uh, right, okay, Weekend Buffs, October 16th to 19th. It is the Tavern Party Weekend. Uh, we are doing, of course, Beetle and Grim. Uh, you gotta get buff, 200%. We're buffing Minsk. Uh, his favorite enemies, 200%. Or buffing Calliope. Uh, Bardic Inspiration, 200%. Uh, Wolfgar. Uh, Clan Dagon's Will and Moradin's Will, 200%. Uh, and sh we're buffing Shandy. Uh, Explosive Arrows and Agile Allies, 200%. Of course, GE this week is for Beetle and Grim. And there's slot four. Those are your buffs for the weekend. Do do do. I must want to get like a, almost like a like a breaking news like infographic when we do the weekend buffs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello, my name is Sean, and this is your buffs for the weekend. <laughs> this is your buff forecast for the weekend. Wait, so, officially, is this episode thirty-one? Uh, yes. Why? This is episode thirty-one. Correct. I put <laughs> so uh, like in our. I did, I did to double check. Uh, my question doc goes from uh, from the October 9th. I brought the episode 26. Then on Wednesday, I put question marks <laughs> for the 11th. And then today's was 31. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like, uh, something skipped here. I lost count somewhere along the way. Yeah, I think this is, I think this is counting most of the, uh, the special episodes we've done, like the little one-hour ones. Mm. Yeah. Have, it does count those or no? Uh, it does count them, I think. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's more for the sake of YouTube. Right. Yeah. Right. YouTube. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, we post all these come up on uh, Mondays at noon on YouTube. I didn't know for the longest time. <laughs> I had someone uh, at my day job who was like, "So how do I watch your show? Here, it's on Fridays, right?" And as an older person, oh, yeah. and I was trying to explain, like, here's how, here's what, first off, here's what Twitch is. Yeah. Here's how you would look it up. Sir, here's this is this is the internet, okay? This is how this goes. And just after a while of, like, question mark face, I said, do you have YouTube, man? <laughs> just go see any games as YouTube and look up Rebel Champions. Because <laughs> I yo right now. 
I guess we also have a time gate weekend today too. Ooh. Uh, you guys, you guys have any, any have any hope for this week? Any preference for your guys' time gates? Hopefully something good. Uh, so are the time gates completely random, or is there? Like uh, it's a like certain... every every it's like every weekend we don't have an event week. Uh, is no, I mean, like... uh, what you get in oh, the time? Gate. Yeah, yeah. So you get, you get uh, three random ones. You get three ones chosen for free. You're guaranteed to get um, a one champion from year one, uh, mm -hmm. and you're guaranteed to get a champion that you don't own. Those are different, though. So you are not guaranteed to get a, ch a year one champion you don't own, but you might get one. So yeah, there's a system to the time gates, the buckets, and uh, the buckets of randomness. Yeah. And is it just for the weekend you get them, or you get them like now? Now you have them. Oh, you, you get them. So you un you unlock them like a normal time gate. It's just usually nice. you spend six time gate pieces for one. Uh, this one you get, you get you see you can spend six time gate pieces and get pick whatever champion you want uh or on the weekend you get uh uh oh my god my brain you get a choice of three that's randomly generated out of like certain rules and restrictions yeah i mean i knew this i was just <laughs> you're te you're testing me i see i see no is this for the people yeah. that come here because pancakes and have not necessarily gotten a chance to really dive super deep in but want to because it's such a good game so lay off me i'm starving <laughs> lay off me. uh babbit g2000 i kind of missed it when they're talking about it yesterday did something in the modron core get nerfed uh yes yes it did um so the the champion cost and the um the champion cost reduction and the monster health reduction both got nerfed temporarily uh when we released the new the Modron Founders Pack, which are the new the new Modron Familiar, fifty chests, like five hundred component pieces, uh, and a and a fifty percent buff to your core to all the core buffs, um, it put those buffs. The max you get to be is like, what was it like ninety eight percent or something as a difference for I know for the uh, for the health reduction one was something like like ninety five percent or ninety four percent reduction in their health. Um, of course, when you you increase it by fifty percent. It goes above 100 that, that brings it above 100 percent reduction which means monsters now had negative health so they would spawn have zero health you know zero out of like 1 million health out of negative 1 million health and then when you get attacked they just they don't die because they, they have no hit points to lose so uh so that kind of broke the game a little bit uh and then if you had and then purchasing champions actually gave you gold rather than reducing your gold because their cost was in the negative as well, based on that on that thing. So, like, hey, that's Oops. not okay. <laughs> that's a little broken. There and there are people who are getting to like, you know, you you put your, you put it on a hundred on a hundred times level up, and people are getting like e fourteen forty nine gold, converting that to favorite. But like the, the number's just far too big to do anything with, and like the game is like this is this too much. Like, this doesn't exist, right? So. Causing some problems, so we had to do a temporary nerf while we look into fixes and get all that cleared up. Definitely interesting to see on my day off, though. Well, not day off, my, my me being sick at home. Ah, uh, yes, inflation and free people. Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey, adventurer, you pay me to go on an adventure for me. That's what <laughs> we're telling them to do. Uh, Spectre to 43. Sean, may I suggest that you, Dylan, and Margaret get started on something, uh, something special for the World Champions 50th episode? Sadly, I don't think it is likely to get Margaret or Eric as a special guest. Oh, I'd probably get, we, Margaret would probably come on here. Not, it's not a big deal. 50, 50th episode? Yeah. Well, I mean, shoot, man. Oh, that's what, like, like 19 weeks away? Oh my gosh. And then he broke his <laughs> lost health because there wasn't enough drama. Oh no! Erica did say there was a there was a bug in Crusaders this morning, which is one of her other games, which uh, she also streams on Thursdays in the morning. Uh, feeling better now? Yeah, yeah. I just had a really bad migraine on Wednesday. I woke up and I like went to like move and get ready, and I was like, oh no, my head started spinning. So I was like, I'm gotta lay down. Yeah, I was, I was, I'm staying down. The, at noon, I got up and it was kind of like, kind of half alive, but not really. You know, that kind of like migraine's like pretty much gone, still have, but it's like decreased to a bit of a headache. Uh, but then just like kind of like nauseous and feeling bad all day. So that was that was Wednesday for me. 
Uh, but yeah, I, kind of, I was kind of watching like Discord and stuff when the, when the thing went out. Uh, just because it was like, what's like, it's a, this is a big day and I feel bad missing it. So I kind of like was lingering a little bit on Discord, just kind of watching stuff and seeing things happen and testing things out on my end while work was like, oh my god! Uh, oh, stuff for my sim base. Yeah, it's, I get them way too often, which is, which is frustrating, but such is life. Uh, your boy Yankee, what are the odds we can get Sean and Lee as in game champions? We're the next Beetle and Grim. <laughs> uh, I, I think that we are, you know. yeah, we are years yeah, we're, away we're, from we're, we're down that list. That line, yeah, we are. We're like trying to pre-order a, a next gen system today. <laughs> it's like trying to buy a thirty eighty. It's, like, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Work is on fire. Sean takes a nap. Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> Maybe Sean and Lee skins for, for Beetle and Grimm. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it. That would, yeah, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. They but then again, it's like, hey, guys, we're hijacking Beetle and Grimm. Yeah. Oh, we'd prefer you didn't do that. No! Ha! Sean's ultimate is Lee's giant hand comes down and flips the enemies. Oh, it's very, uh, it's, it's like JoJo's, it's, it's like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's like a stand. It's like summon Lee behind me. <laughs> and you're like floating big with like spatulas and a griddle in your hand. I, know, I could see uh, a Big B's hand that has the... Just like your forearm with, with the chef the and the knife on it? Yeah. I do like I do like the idea of uh, of, of like the stand and the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure stand behind me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a... What a... <laughs> what a, what a, what a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh man, I would want Matt Mercer to say it's high noon. I'd be like, can you give me just like one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, or Sean skin for Kathris and uh, and Lee the Summon Demon. Yeah, I'd be kind of like that, I think. Floating forearm with spatula, flings debuffing pancakes. We slow them down because we, we sling Slayer up at them and they get stuck. I just, I think that it would be. Um... A mixture of damage and healing, where the spatula comes and flips the the um, enemy. Yeah. And if the enemy dies from whatever damage that flip does, it turns into a pancake that they fling back and heals a random champion. <laughs> Your boy, oh, you're approaching me. <laughs> Love it. I've never Play actually, rivers. I've never actually watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, which I people get really upset at me when I tell them that. Um, it's a, uh, it's a lot. I really got into the first and second season. I mean, I, I've watched a lot of it at this point. Oh, yeah. But the wild and bizarre nature of the first season was turned into a wild and bizarre nature of a different means. And I was like, well, you guys could still kind of... Oh, I'm going to flip this. Okay. Well, I got it. Like, big oh, axe. Wait, wait, yeah, double hand. <laughs> Ooh, slap. It's a frost giant. He's cold, he hits you, and it hurts. <laughs> you're, you're safe, yeah. I, don't, I just feel like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure was, like, too bizarre for me. But to be fair, like, I, I've only ever seen the memes of it, so, you know. It, it It's pretty bizarre, man. Yeah. <laughs> I do imagine so. Man, what, what's, what should we do for a 50th episode? That's... I feel like 50, I know, 50 is a milestone, I'll, right? So, I'll tell you this, 30 is a milestone for the fact that, you know, when this first came up, I, I really had this, like, this is before I even knew that I was going to have you as my co-host yeah. and kind of what the chattiness and fun times we would have would be. And part of me was like, this is awesome. I'm, I'm guaranteed 10 episodes, and it's going to be a really... <laughs> Fun ten episodes for me. Yeah, this will be a fun. I can't weeks, imagine. Yeah. I can't imagine anybody's gonna enjoy watching me do this <laughs> for two hours. Um, and then, uh, and then around. you came along. Uh, Davy asked a quick, uh, question. Uh, Lee, is this a hit based or armor based frost giant? 
<coughs> What's this now? <laughs> was that Frost Giant a hip-based giant or a armor-based giant? It was a egg, flower, and water-based. Hey, there you go. You see more of the giant Nesman deal? Yeah. Yeah, I guess this is a big grill. You could <laughs> that's that's very useful. Uh you see more of the giant ice Mandela. Yeah, I guess we have the full legs and stuff. So Well, I um I wanted to size it so that I could put more <clears throat> of the like the the detail and the body and the the because I I've done that one and I wanted this giant to have a giant presence and be bigger. So that's why I did the bust of it. Plus, they're just legs. <laughs> you got some, like, ratty boots. Spoilers, the legs were going to be this pancake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. I like that one. I actually, I did that uh, early days mm -hmm. when I was doing it on, like, a giant flat top grill at work. I did a three-piece Jack Skellington. Oh, that I, like assembled in the back on some wax paper. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, we, uh, Lee, would you like chat to offer ideas for the fiftieth episode? Yeah, of course. I guess you could say he's large and in charge. Yeah, <laughs> didn't. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you guys have like, some cool ideas, that may be interesting. Obviously, the I, the the big idea is like me doing something. All right, it's me trying to do a pancake. I want to uh, see you do a pancake, Sean. Get over I, I yourself. Know, right? Just kidding. <laughs> Everybody wants to see you do it. <laughs> um, what else could we do? I mean, because that's the reason I'm I'm real keen on getting ideas from our pancakes here, mm -hmm. is that is why we are a successful show. Is because we have people that are a huge part of it. I mean, the pancakes are why. We work. Yeah. Otherwise, I would be <laughs> pancaking into the void. Dr. Dan K just said, Sean, we will send you equipment. Like, no joke. Yeah. Uh, we will discuss <laughs> it after the show, but I think we can definitely get you squared away and uh, do a I mean, yeah. I mean, 100%, if I got equipment, 100% I would, I would try it out. Like, I, 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 how could I not at that point, right? Like, Right. Yeah, that's one of those things like, that I, like you, you sent me the materials to do so. Like I, this is something I, I can't not do now. If I got the equipment, I might screw around with it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I might, I might cook, you know, sausages or bacon on it. But you know, uh, <laughs> 50th anniversary idea: griddle off with Dan. And then the second round is Sean versus marketing. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I like the idea that on my 50th episode, I'm not in it. <laughs> yeah, no, you it's you battle Dan. Oh. And then I battle marketing. Oh, just share your social, your address and social security number on chat. We'll be all set. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, your superhero name is your mother's maiden name, your social security <laughs> number, and your first pet. Yeah. No bacons on griddles. Bacon grease wrecks them. Oh no. That's good to know. Pancakes only. Pancakes only. Yeah. Only do all the face plays in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Uh, yeah. I've, I've, I I don't know. I I think I, I just I want the tubes to be able to do the pancake but stuff and obviously like a, a proper griddle. I think we have a very like long one at home but not yeah so i also get the last poison critic card as well as your pin oh yeah yeah yeah. no problem i'll, I'll sit and chat no worries yeah making bacon pancakes yeah making pancakes making bacon pancakes make some bacon yeah put it in a pancake i've made that pancake before yeah have you heard the um oh bye night hammer see you next week bye um there was a someone sent that up to the to like New York by I think by Beyonce, and it just it fits so well. <laughs> uh, I've definitely seen the one that is the like the Ducktales theme oh, I was, I to Single that. Ladies or something. Yeah, it's like the the dancing 
The dancing. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> we'll send you. We'll just send you Dan. He will slip his arms through your shirt, and you can battle Lee. I love it. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, Sean, you're uh, you're really getting this, man. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been I've been practicing, I'm practicing. Yeah, I'm making big and pancakes in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's credit card number is the hidden code, yeah. <laughs> yeah it unlocks a lot of stuff. Yeah. Although it, probably yeah. less you now, can, considering... You can, you can get, get everything in-game. It's fine. Yeah, it unlocks pretty much anything you can buy. Yeah. Until I get that phone call from my from my bank being like, Hey, uh, something's wrong with your credit card. See, but that's the thing is, I don't think that you would get dinged. Because it wouldn't, you know, it's not like... I mean, you bought that cloak, so when it's like, oh, they bought a bunch of characters and uh, aesthetic stuff in Idol Champions, a and d game. Yeah. Yeah, he probably did that. Yeah. Actually, I had that. My credit card got compromised at one point, and they, someone tried to buy, like, it was like $400 in, like, Best Buy and, like, $400 from this, like, really, like, not not a really good streetwear brand. I was like, you could have you picked better things to buy. You're judging your thief on what they bought. <laughs> exactly. Like, You're gonna man. steal from me. Yeah, at least buy something good. Yeah, it was, then I was like, oh my god, my, thank you for calling me because my credit card. I did not buy those things. That's their test, yeah. Final final pancake challenge uh, for the 50th episode: blueberry pancakes. No image provided. So grillers have to use their imagination for what to make. Oh. Just, just make whatever you want on episode 50. That's it. <sighs> Any plans for the weekend? Um, I got work tomorrow. Oh, and yeah. then so I know I kind of like my Sundays to be just to hang out with Ashley and Miles because my days off, it's like my days off become, you know, getting done what needs to get done and yeah. shopping, any kind of shopping and things like that. And Sunday is just a good, like, good relaxed day. Nothing, nothing is today. Today is nothing. Yeah. I do like having a good not nothing day in, in, uh, on your days off. It's like, all right, Saturday's the day to do like all the stuff. Sunday is the day that you just relax. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, imagine being judged by the dude you stole from. <laughs> Give me your wallet. Mate, with those shoes? I'm not giving you nothing. <laughs> Give me your wallet. Fine, but here's a shopping list of what I need you to get <laughs> yeah. done. Sean, I was angry about the threat. I was about the theft. He was angry about his street cred. Yeah, exactly. Can't have people know I bought those like really bad like like streetwear clothing. I don't even, even remember what company it was. It was some like, I think it was some like rapper's clothing line or something like that. It's like, okay. Like, I like, looked at it like, yeah, these aren't that good. <laughs> I've Dean Day. D D today. Dean Day. Dean Day today. Dean Day. Dean Day. Yeah. Dean Day today. It's gonna be fun. Nice. Sorry, we, we, we took a week off uh, last week because uh, one of our players was having his bachelor party. Uh, so we he and them were playing, to, playing today, and then next week he's getting married. So woohoo! That's uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, he kind of oh, uh... It was like he kind of dropped the bomb on us too, like a couple weeks ago. He, I don't think he told any, <laughs> told any of us, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, uh, I can't play on these two weekends because of my bachelor party. I'm getting married." And we're like, "What? <laughs> like, holy smokes, dude! Congrats!" He's going, oh, yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, no big deal. Ski. Yeah. He just, he's like, oh, yeah, it's, just, it's fine. Uh, Hi, Sean. I'm crashing to desktop a lot with Mojo Automation recently. What's the best option to report the Smith's, uh, Smith's port ticket or the public bug tracker? Uh, For that one, because it's actually affecting your gameplay big time, uh, make me a ticket. Just including details like what's going on, why, it's, like, why you think it's crashing, um, things like that. Uh, Kid Lex says, congrats, isn't it hard to get married currently? No party, I mean. Uh, I think in BC we're allowed up to 30 people, I think. 
like 30 people social distance, I think is the maximum we can do. Maybe. I am trying, I'm fishing. planning my, I'm planning to have my bachelor party just be a one to two day playing games. I just saw a gaming session. Com- just on the computer with as many people as I can get to make an event out of it. That sounds cool. Yeah. Maybe you're invited. I don't know. Oh, okay. Just, I, I, don't know where you're... <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll, I'll wait if they invite, you know. I'm open. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're, we're doing a big old wait until it is absolutely safe to do some anything for getting married. And... Yeah. It's a, a batch of land party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I don't want to give another hint to the code, but it already happened. Yeah. Hello, Hero HD. Welcome to, the, welcome to chat. Hi. So Shaw, Shawshank Redemption was your favorite movie, right? That was what we... Oh, yeah. I think I've, I think I've seen it once. That's one of those. At all, actually. At, oh. At, oh man! At any point, because it, it used to be on like TBS and stuff like that, like oh, all yeah. the time. Uh, if it's on, and I have the time, no matter what part of the movie is happening, I'm watching that movie. Like I was like, oh well, this is what's happening now. Yeah, I feel I because like, like, Shawshank Redemption is like a classic, right? Uh, it makes me feel bad because my favorite movie is definitely not one of those classic movies. Is like Jet Li's the one. Okay, that is a good movie. It really is. I, lo- I, is. I do actually love that. I used to watch that movie like all the time. I have no like. There's there's no sense of like irony of like like be like oh yeah I love it ironically like, yeah. I really enjoyed that movie. I do love that you brought that one up because I was like that was I think that's one of my other favorite actually one of my other favorite movies is the one so. I don't know if I throw yeah. it in the favorites category. <laughs> Jet Li's good. <laughs> Jelly's great. Hank says, uh, Lee is lying. He told me in conference his favorite movie is Babe Pig in the City. I love oh, it. Jesse Thorne? Uh, my favorite movie is The Three Ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. What? No. Tell me. No, what are you thinking, huh? I'm thinking definitely a good movie. Definitely um, an iconic Back in the day when I was this old, uh, yeah. it was up there. But to put that on a list of like, of all time, best movie ever, Rocky Loves and Emily. Lee. Rocky Loves and Lee. <laughs> it's, I don't know, I just, I don't know what it is. I just. Like still, like today, you throw that on and be like, this is the best. Oh, 100%. Yeah, 100%. This is the movie that defines a generation. <laughs> Light up the eyes, boys. Light up the eyes. Uh, Remember Surf Ninja? Surf Ninja? Yeah, it was basically a movie that was a commercial for the Game Gear. No. Oh, it has Rob Schneider in it. And, oh, uh, it's all that's already a bad movie. No, no, it's not it's not a Rob Schneider movie. It's it's an older movie that I just happened to have Rob Schneider in it. It yeah, he just happens to have Schneids in it. Yeah. But they're I mean it's karate, it's you know, it's uh yeah. I've actually been I've been wanting to uh speaking of some kind of game movies, um uh what is that? Oh my god, what is it called? Was it the movie with the pinball wizard? They go to the Nintendo Championships. Oh, just Wizard? Is it just called Wizard? And it's not pinball. It's Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, yeah, but like the but they they play the the pinball wizard song from the Who. Oh, yeah, yeah. From the Who? Yeah, from the yes, Who? the Who. Yeah, yeah so it's Wizard. I oh, Kung Pao is a great movie. Try hard to insert street sharks into this. Yeah. Oh, the Wiz. Is that what it is? No, it wasn't the Wiz, dude. No. That's no very no. different movie. That's a way different movie. Yeah. 
Blake, Blake Fox and Justin from the Blue Rangers versus Mike, uh, I'll ask you Colt for Ninjas. Oh, Colt wins that. Against who? Uh, so it's Justin from the Blue, hey, hey, original Power Rangers, Blue Ranger, uh, and then Colt from Three Ninjas. They're actually going to fight, really? Oh my god, I, I want to watch that. No Wait, the what? That's an actual thing that's happening? Yeah, what? <laughs> Blake Foster uh, versus Michael Lasky. Oh my god, they are. Is it going to be like a martial arts fight? Or is it like yeah, no, it's like a straight up MMA fight. Oh, he's from Turbo? Ugh. Yeah. Oh. It's not Billy then. Yeah. Oh, they were... Oh, they're actually, they were both Power Rangers. Yeah, Mike, Mike and Blake were both, like, Mike was a Red Ranger, uh, Blake was a Blue Ranger. Second. Oh. Wait, wait, which, which cult was he? Because then they changed actors. On like the second if it's not movie. Jason versus Tommy, who gives a F? Yeah, yeah like, the, like the I think the first cult was uh was Max Elliot Slade. Yeah. Oh, was he in all? Th he was actually in all three. Hmm. Mike, Mike played a young version of the of the Zero Red Ranger. Oh, Zero Red Ranger. Oh, okay. So we actually we were talking about this uh, work a little bit yesterday. Uh, I I grew up on Power Rangers. I love Power Rangers, right? And then people, <laughs> Adam or Art Director was like, Power Rangers, of all things. I'm like, what's wrong with Power Rangers? Love Power. Rangers. What? I have like. What about I, the place that you work out? And <laughs> yeah, work at. I know, right? And the age of Sean makes you not think Power Rangers. Yeah. The, uh, what was it? Um, I have the, like, the, I think I, I don't know where it is. Um, uh, but I have the, the first episode of Power Rangers, like, when they get their powers for the first time, uh, on VHS. Whoa. Yeah. Whatever a VHS is. I don't, I don't know what it is, but, Wait, you, know. you mean when they finally found five teenagers with attitude? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Hey, also, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. here's the here's here's uh, <laughs> my scathing indictment of Power Rangers right now. Okay. There was nothing about those five teenagers that showed any kind of attitude. Yeah, they're all like really nice people. They were really well behaved. If, if, good they, want, people. if they want attitude, they should have taken Bulk and Skull. Yeah. So I, we need I, five teenagers with attitude. You mean ones that can punch and kick? Yeah, I mean one that punch yeah, and I need, kick. I need, Come I need, on. one, I need five with MMA capabilities. Yeah, they need to follow explicit directions. So <laughs> I'm trying a thing here, Alpha. Give it to me. Yeah, oh yeah. Give me the five. Pop, give me the five popular kids in a really, a really good American school. <laughs> That's all I need. I need you to make right, sure four, four popular kids and a nerd. I need them to absolutely color coordinate already going into this. Yeah. That's just lazy. That was just lazy. <laughs> Alpha's like, I mean, we need a Red Ranger. This guy's wearing red. Yeah. Alpha, are, yeah. you, uh, are you doing a thorough vetting? Aye, 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 of course. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Uh, I also have the, um, the Ivan Ooze video. Nice. Um, I remember when, yeah. they, when they had Ivan Ooze like first on there. I was like, "Are you going to be Apocalypse?" <laughs> yeah. In the comics, the run actually made Balkan Skull Rangers. Really? Oh my god. Have you have you actually heard the um, oh, what is it the uh, the theme song for Balkan Skull? It is atrocious. Really? Just like things. Yeah, just like the music behind, like with their theme song when they come on screen, it's actually so oh. bad. I mean, isn't it basically like don't burn, don't burn, don't burn, don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty much like that. It's pretty bad. Just a fart sound. Uh, oh, Mister Mizar says so funny stories. Ron doesn't say find me teenagers with attitude. He says 
find me overbearing and over emotional humans. Alpha says, oh no, teenagers. <laughs> I love it. It's like, find, oh, it's like, find me a child army, Alpha. I'm like, uh, <laughs> easily that's... multiple brains. That's what I need. Oh, hey, Lauren. How's it going? Lauren, you about ready for this flip? Yeah, let's go. You're just in time, Lauren. Is it the premises of Monica? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is the humanoid avarice. Uh, Avarice is a cruel and vindictive tiefling trained in the arcane tradition of evocation. She likes to using her magic to destroy things, and her hunger for magic items knows no bounds. Her supreme confidence means that she never backs down from a challenge, even when the odds are clearly stacked against her. Seeing other wizards as a threat, paranoia rules her life. Ooh. That sounds like a teenager with attitude. Yeah, exactly. We just made a Power Ranger. Oh, child, oh my god, yeah, Child Army's Beetleborgs. Yeah, totally. They were like actual kids. Uh, and what's the trailer for Nicolas Cage's new flick, Jiu Jitsu? Oh, God, yeah. That movie looks ridiculous. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Nicolas Cage's Jiu Jitsu. It's like every six years, this like space invader shows up. The only way to beat him with, like, is with like, Jiu Jitsu. So he, like, I see like hires a bunch of people to like fight this like space monster. It's just like a human in a suit. I don't know. It looks ridiculous. I'm gonna... But I'm going to watch it. Well, well, a Nicolas Cage movie that looks ridiculous? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh. All right. I'm too late to play my favorite game of try and get the host to give us the code. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you missed it. We had a hidden code. Oh, yeah, it's Mortal Kombat plus, plus Predator, basically. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> childhood human rights violations. All my favorite, yeah. I miss you, Mizumi. Also, I'm sure you know, but Power Rangers is actually two separate shows. All the action scenes were morphed while morphed were, were shot in Japan for Super Sentai Zero Ranger. Yeah. Oh, actually. What was that? Yeah, was, I've like, got Netflix. Yeah. Because I, I know, like, the Power Rangers were ripped off of, like, I mean, the Super Sentai of Japan, right? No, like, it wasn't ripped off. It, I mean, this is it is actually... Just like straight the copy. footage of it, it's oh. it is the show, I think, and then the American stuff. Yeah, they just like uh, what's, what's the word? Um, check it out. Check out that Netflix show that is like about that thing, about like toys. Oh, oh, I think I think I've heard of that one. Yeah, oh, what is it? Yeah, made for it. Uh, I'm the Vanguard so to distribute Super Sentai outside of Japan. Ah, uh, okay. I'm trying to remember, like, I, I watched Power Rangers a lot. I think I, I don't remember how far I got into the show before I stopped watching. I remember the one in space. I, I, yeah, I pretty much was just the original. Yeah. I'm that old a clock. <laughs> that old a clock, yeah. I aged out of it. Oh, uh, the toys that made us and the shows that made us. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Since the action uh, is most expensive to shoot. My, hey, like, the biggest thing I thought always thought was weird about Power Rangers is, like, when the Megazord and, like, the big monster, like, you know, make my monster grow! Um, when that, when those ones, episodes happen, like, you can clearly see the city being destroyed underneath them. Like, the construction yeah. workers of that town are the real heroes here. <laughs> like let's face it the fact that they rebuild the city like every month right it just yeah, angel grove did not get enough recognition <laughs> yeah the angel grove here are the true company. yeah here are the true heroes yeah like bulk and skull actually had it right they were a menace yeah yeah why didn't they just call the makers are right away to stomp the monsters when they were little i guess it's to avoid damage to the city obviously right well, they knew it was coming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Each fight you did with these guys followed a very specific pattern. You beat them. Revita Repulsa goes, Nuh-uh. Make my monsters grow. Then they get really big and then you go, Oh, we should call them Megazord. And then destroy half the city. You know what's always bothered me about, like, all, like, 
action cartoons and shows and things like that. What? Is you have this really like unstoppable bad guy until they've been stopped once. And then they are from that point on like kind of a joke. Like, I'm, like oh, like the Ninja Turtles cartoon that they had, uh, Jackie Chan Adventures. Oh, like no, the okay, first, that, that show was great. That show was fantastic. I love Jackie and it was Chan one of the like, like one of the early adopters of this bad guy ends up turning into one of the main good guys, and I love yeah when that happens. Oh, but it's just like villain decay is a term for that apparently. Oh yeah, villain decay. See, thank you. Happens so frequently. Uh, loop nine Q nine Q. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, Mister Mizami was. Mr. Mizawa was hit us with the Power Rangers lore. Uh, again, first episode of Zordon explains that they aren't allowed to escalate a fight until Rita does. It's one of the three rules of being a Power Ranger. They say that? Apparently. I need to go back and watch the first episode again. It's been a long time. All right, teenagers with attitude. Read this, uh, <laughs> yeah, read read this, this three-page document, yeah. I need to sign here. Here. Initial here. Uh, yeah, Power Rangers totally suffered from villain decay in the conversation on the conversation a conservation uh, of ninjutsu yeah duality of the white ranger plot well, me plot I, yeah well they as power rangers suffered from hero decay like the thing that worked to finally beat this thing now is ineffectual against every other thing so you need the new thing but that's just how you sell toys and anyways. yeah well hey, there's a there's a they were gonna do a movie weren't they for the shattered grid huh so there's like a uh i think there's so there's like a comic series for um for power rangers i'm pretty sure called called shattered grid and it looks like like he's like that tommy goes back to being a green ranger and is like he like like i don't know, like runs a city or like a civilization and it's supposed to be like where they power i think power rangers went bad or something like that Oh, you mean that like fan made movie? Yeah, was, it, was, that, was, was that a fan made thing? I thought, oh, look, it, it looked, has it looked like really, really James good. Vanderbeek, or it's not. I don't know. It's fan made. It's a uh, yeah, and it's like the the pirates were like assassins and they're like fighting people. Yeah, that's from uh, yeah. James Vanderbeek is in it, uh, and Katie uh, oh, man, Star Starbuck. Yeah, I need to. From, I need to like watch it again. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should find like the, the comics. Cause like I, I, the premise of like that Power Rangers were actually like, were uh, were, were like were, like were evil instead. It seemed pretty cool. Uh, so I don't want to spoil anything about the comic book. Shattered Grid deals with the, the alternate reality Tommy who never stopped working for Rita. Oh, it takes over the world. Ooh. Oh, that's spicy. cool. I might have to read that, actually. Yeah, I might just do that. I... God, I love somebody more from Power Rangers, man. It's been a long time. I, I'd steer clear if I were you. It does not hold up. Oh, I, I know it doesn't. It, I know it doesn't for sure. Uh, the movie Lee is talking about was a fan made movie that some of the former Rangers were a fan of, but dis well, most disavowed because it was too gritty or something that kids might look up. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's my problem. I, I like. I have a like, firm where shows should grow with the audience for the most part. You know, maybe besides things like Pokemon. But like, you know, Power Rangers, like TMNT, like, I think those shows should grow with the audience that love them. And kind of be like, kind of go into like maybe like not super like evil or like like horror things, but like kind of bring up the grit level a little bit because like you know, you're gonna have a, a fan base that grew up with this and want, kind of want to keep going with it, right? Right, but there's a lot more money and et cetera, et cetera, to keep a show for kids for kids because then you because just I mean you just have to pay homage and respect to yeah. the older. Like, okay, for instance, the new DuckTales show mm -hmm. is fantastic. But while there are definitely things that they, I mean, I will watch it and I will appreciate it. And there's definitely some things in it that make me go like, that is fantastic yeah. for me. It's still something for 
for me to show Miles when he's old yeah. enough. So you gotta find that balance. And oh. I. Uh, so Mr. Meat Zombie is coming in with the lore today. Thank. It's great. Uh, however, uh, Johnny Young Bosch is the Adam, the Black Ranger, Jason David Frank, Tommy, uh, and Austin St. John, the original Red Jason, are trying to kickstart uh, a movie called a movie that isn't Power Rangers, air quotes, called Legend of the White Dragon, which is the type of movie you're talking about. Ooh. Ooh. I see the people talking about uh, Dragon Ball Z as well, who kind of, kind of falls into that. Yeah, and someone was saying, uh, where'd it go? Uh, DBZ failed because it was a 90% failure as in the screens while powering the attacks, which I totally agree with. Um, Dragon Ball Z Kai was way better because they like, cut out like so much of that stuff. Um, and then the um, uh, that last uh, the last arc they did, where they did that, that grand tournament thing. Which was, yeah. Yeah, uh, was, was a really, really good season of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I, I can't, I, I've been unable to get into Dragon Ball. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, really? it just, it does nothing for That's me. Well, I mean, they, they made an entire series that was like, okay, you know what, this actually isn't canon. <laughs> that Dragon Ball GT was like, was made, and they go, no, this isn't canon, just get rid of it. <laughs> uh, so the best short in anime are those that manage to escalate the complete attraction, the power system and scaling. Yeah, no, agreed. Um, My Hero Academia. I mean, it fits that pretty well. Mm. Yeah, that's a really, like, I think they do a really good job with, like, the, the, the uh, what's happening is it's getting bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, hey, like, like, TBSC, My Hero Academia is the best example, yeah. I, I love My Hero. My Hero's great. It's one, it's my favorite, probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bleach had the same problem with Naruto. Yeah, Naruto, I think, mean, well, like, Naruto and Bleach, is, they went on for far too long. Um, Naruto, yeah, Naruto had a lot of filler, especially after the uh, mm. uh, after the Sasuke fight until uh, Shippuden. It was, it was like, like hundred and some episodes of filler. It was so it was so bad. Right, but I guess it just, it just means that they, they weren't ready for Shippuden yet, so they had to they had to spend all that time going there. Uh, Hunter Hunter, I actually haven't watched, um, but Naruto manga was good. Oh, totally, totally. See, now we're into like territory that I I know. <laughs> Manga yeah, or I, I, anime? I, I love manga anime. That's like I don't watch TV anymore. Right? Did you watch? Um, did you watch? Um, what's it called? Sorry. That one thing. That one thing. One Punch Man. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, God of High School. I did. Yes. Uh, it's it's weird because I actually read some. I was reading some of the webtoon to get a little bit ahead. Um. Uh, and. They actually changed quite a bit between the final and the final fight of God of High School in the, the webtoon, which I didn't mm -hmm. like all that much. But, you know, yeah, it was it was okay. It was it was great. It was great fighting animation. Um, I really yeah, that's the thing is it definitely took such a weird turn that I was not expecting because I didn't know anything about like the book. Yeah. First, you know, like about the that stuff. Yeah. So. I was like, this is awesome. Like, this fighting tournament stuff is really, really cool. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, yeah, but check out check out these Chiriuk things. Yeah, like, Chiriuk, oh. yeah. Don't, don't you think, like, that, 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 I feel like that, that escalated so fast. It went well, from I know that they talked about it in the, the on on the um, There's like a talk country show. roll oh, app. Yeah. They have, like, a, oh. basically, like, a, hey, we're doing this show, and this is some stuff about it, and yeah. all that. And it, it it did have like kind of a thing where it was talking about the uh, the need to ramp it up, yeah, timing wise. Yeah, but it, I just like it ramped up so fast. It was like okay, yeah, you're fighting things got normal people, and then like, okay, everyone's got Chucky Duck, and then everyone now you're fighting God. Like I got, I'm not playing a JRPG here. Like, calm down. Okay, I, in regular Magic High School is like. I I know about it. I haven't. I think I've read some of it and I watched like a couple episodes. But yeah, there there is very much this like world of uh, very bland, incredibly powerful MCs, right? It's just like I like you are like, but like, I'm super strong, but I'm I'm gonna make it seem like I'm not very strong. 
I mean, just like Saitama level, yeah. Okay, the great thing about One Punch Man is that Saitama, even though Saitama is like incredibly powerful, like he is entirely the gag character. Like, it's I, I love how One Punch Man does that. Like the, the gag, they, they make this like like all these people, like even the manga currently, it's like all these like big catastrophic events. These heroes, S rank, are fighting for the life, and you, you just you know that you know that Saitama just walk up and just that's it. That's all it would take. Right. That that's yeah, that is done for effect and yeah. done really well. Although I haven't seen all of the second season of it. I don't know. But I have Genesis, heard I don't know second season. No wait, did they? Of One Punch Man? No, they did, yeah. Sure the second season have. was not as good as the first. Right. That's yeah. what I've heard. Yeah, it's just the, the, the difference the the change of production company um oh. really uh really de uh, degraded the quality of the actual show. Like it's still it's still good. Uh, but the actual right. like uh, like just that the, the fighting and stuff just wasn't as good as the previous season. So they're telling us a different joke every episode, but with the same punchline. Every time they work really hard to make you believe this song will be different, it never is. Yeah, exactly. It's like you know what you see in the show is like uh like what are they called um like death battle, right? Where it's like why could like could Goku beat Saitama or like those kind of things, right? Mm -hmm. um, and like the thing, I think the thing with with set with with Saitama and One Punch Man is that no matter who he's fighting, he will always win the fight in One Punch. Because that's just the character, that's the joke, right? You it doesn't matter who he who you're fighting, you will you will lose Saitama because he will hit you in one punch and that'll be it. Right? If, if he does his you know super serious punch, like game over. Right? Yeah, One Punch. Yeah. I, um. Actually, I went to I went to Japan a couple like two years ago now I think, uh, and I had a like a, a, the the kind of the Saitama face that says when he says okay, uh, and I was wearing that around, and we went to this uh, uh this like liquor store to buy sake for that his mom as like a gift, and uh, the guy the guy on the counter looked at me he's like he's like oh you you hero he's like ah one punch, like hey um <laughs> what is going on? sorry to interrupt but start the. Uh... We're gonna play some rounds of was this monster from only the name. Uh, so, oh right, if you have right, any right. ideas? Start, start, yeah, pooling uh, votes. Today. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Um, quick, come on, if you if you have Hulu, Gate is a great. Quick watch. Oh, Gate's great. I, I love Gate. Gate. Yeah, Gate. I haven't seen that. One. Uh, Gate, like it's like Gate SDF will like save the world or something. Okay. Or SDJF. Yeah, it's like uh, a gate opens in uh, Akihabara, and then the, the military go into the gates, and it's like an another world where it's like the military versus the world. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get this really quick. So we need some some monsters that Lee hopefully does not know that he will guess what they are based off of the name and maybe a, a slight description. Um. Nothing. No visual description though. No It'd visual. Be description. Like okay. You know what? If you have access to like your D and D Beyond or a thing, you can give me like uh, a trait, like an ability or something. Yeah. Yeah, the self defense. Yeah, and it's like the self defense, like Japan self defense force or something like that. It's it's very much like a look how great our military is in anime form. Hmm? I like. Uh, you ever seen um, Fairy Gone? Fairy Gone. Mm-hmm. So, the art and stylization is really cute. Oh, it looks really good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very clean. Yep. the The animation, like the fighting in that, and the things that they're doing in that yeah. is just very cool. It's got a really cool, um, kind of a. I'm trying to think of like what the time. The era would be, but it's just yeah. It's like, it's like 1930s. For a little quick look at it, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty. Good. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the best thing, Made in Abyss. Oh, that that was such a good show. What's that? Uh, Made in Abyss. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, it's uh, that's it's good. Like really. I need you to like. You're gonna have to like send me a. Yeah, bro. Like, okay. Like all I, like I said, all I, I don't really watch. Uh, like, like regular Western media anymore. I the only thing I really consume is like movies and then anime. That's it. I don't really watch normal TV. Anime for me is like my nighttime watches. Yeah, 
It's like it's all ever like if I'm not playing a game or like reading manga or something, then it's probably like I'm watching anime of some sort, or I'm watching like home home and garden TV or something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Lock Horizon was good. Um, the uh, T uh, Tite Kubo, the guy who made um, uh, oh oh, uh, the guy who made Bleach. Uh, Hold on, I'm gonna flip. Oh, okay, go for the flip. Oh. It's Aurel. Aurel the Frost Maiden is a neutral, le evil lesser god of cold indifference who embodies winter's cruelty. Aurel's beloved ice grasps all things in her clutches, preserving them against the ravages of time. She hoards beauty in all forms, from art objects and flowers to skilled artisans and their wondrous works, freezing them in, in magical ice for her pleasure alone. Ooh. Uh, and this is what I accidentally almost tweeted out as oh, really? a response to something Eric had. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, well... Because I had just downloaded it for, um, you know, for the reference material. And uh, so Eric had a, a thing about you know, the streaming that was going on today. And so I was replying to it. And you know how it shows you, like, pictures in your gallery if you wanted to text, post one? Is I, I was, like, just looking at it for a second. Forgot that I was replying to Eric. So I brought it up to kind of do some, like, color uh, planning. And then I just saw that I had, like, a tweet reply with that picture in it, and I was like, Ugh, delete. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, so I, I sent you two. No, for that. Is it the show or the. Oh, no, not, not for the, not for anime or anything, just for the, for what you know, what you're doing, so. No, you, you can say, you're allowed to say those out loud, dude. Okay. If well, I'm making them. Oh, so, right. which one should I make? Uh, you make the Rakshasa. Rashasa with jazz hands. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, TT Kubo made, made a, a three-parter uh, that's on Crunchyroll that's really good uh, called Burn the Witch. Um, it's only three episodes. Um, I think it was like a test in the water kind of thing, but like really, but it, it, I loved it. I thought it was really good. How many arms does Rakshasa have again? Yeah, I don't know. Ten? I don't remember. It's been a while. Uh, any thoughts on the yeah. new Castlevania anime on Netflix? Uh, I haven't watched it actually. Um, I haven't watched any of the Netflix like animes or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, Burn the Witch was really good. The kind of the reveal at the end was super cool. Um, well, if, supposing I might watch it, let's not talk about. Yeah, yeah I, I won't say anything yeah. else. Yeah, I, I've heard of Castlevania is really good. I've never really been into Castlevania. So I guess it's one of those things where it just it's for, for to get into it is like yeah for me. One of the only good video game adaptations I've ever seen. Oh, okay, that's that's pretty big praise. Fate Stay Night, just the first game. Uh, oh man, okay, Fate series is like ridiculous. It's out of control. Um, because the. Oh, man, because so, like the the, the 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 visual novel, Fate Stay Night, uh, and then because it's a visual novel, it's got different roots, right? So you can go depending on what, like, on you know which way you which which what what you pick, you go to different ways and different endings and stuff. So Fate Stay Night was like the original ending, I think, in the beginning, um, and that was it. And it wasn't that good. And then they made Green uh, Order. Yeah, then they made a uh, Fate Stay Night. Unlimited Blade Works, which I think is is one is one of the roots. That one was really good. But it's weird though because they made it a movie first, and then they made uh, then they made it into the anime, which the anime was really good. Which is the one that has uh, KG Tang as the voice? Uh, wait, no, is it KG that's the voice of the Archer? Oh, uh, that's probably Unlimited Blade Works. No, I think it's either Stay Night or. Is there zero? Yeah, there, there's yeah, there's Fate Zero because that is the um, that's the precursor to Emiya's Emiya, Emiya Emi Shiro. Yeah, to Shiro story. Yeah, it's like it's like it's his, it's like Shiro is the main character of Fate's Night and stuff. It's like his adopted dad's story. Oh, then I don't think it's that one. I don't remember. Yeah. It's one of the ones that was on Hulu or something. Yeah, it, honestly, it, it's probably unlimited Blade Works or Netflix. Yeah. I, I, it's, I imagine it's probably unlimited play works. 
Uh, it's the the one where the the schoolgirl like summons the archer and is like kind of pissed off because she wanted something really powerful. Oh yeah, that well that's 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 the Fates Tonight series in general. Like uh, Rin summons the archer each in each yeah. in each scenario, and then Shiro always gets saber. Uh, and Ilya gets like you know, um, Berserker and stuff. There was one that like popped up that was um, real weird. It was like uh, simulated dream things going on. Or it's like one of the more recent ones that dropped. I'll need you to just give me like a watch it in this order. Oh, I don't even know the order, dude. <laughs> There, there is so much in the Fate universe and stuff that it's it's so convoluted and everywhere that it just, like, I don't know, man. Yeah. Oh, so it's not just me? Yeah, it's, no. Like, there, uh, there's a YouTuber I watch around Simon Gigak, um, that tried to explain the Fate universe. It's, like, a 30-minute video. And by the end of it, you're like, I don't even know what the hell's going on. And then he's like, I love the Fate series. I know a lot about it. And But trying to explain the Fate series to somebody is like ridiculous because there's like so many different branches off and like obviously the different routes and stuff and yeah yeah it's it's weird it's like they're good shows and they're good movies and stuff i haven't watched uh uh heaven's feel which i think um, was one of the movies that came out um that uh i don't know it was pretty good but yeah yeah it's yeah, Fate series is good. Yeah, so I try to explain the Shin Megami Tensei or Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. Uh, the Persona Three movies are actually like really good too. Like animation quality is really really high. Was it oh, there's Persona movies. Yeah, uh, the Persona Three ones were really good. Um, I think they tend to do like a movie uh, each one, but I don't. I don't remember off the top of my head. But Heaven's Feel was super awkward to watch in theater. Oh man, I imagine. <laughs> Oh God. We actually uh Nevada and I actually went and saw the uh the Madoka movies in um in theater. And those were those are neat. Uh, if you wanna watch Fate in Chronological Order. Uh yeah, Fate Fate Zero, Fate Stay Night, Fate Stay Unlimited Blade Works, Fate Stay Night Heaven's Feel. Yeah. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Um The pro the problem with Fate it's weird because like watching Fate, I think watching Fate Zero, oh baby, um, watching Fate Zero like spoils Fate Stay Night a little bit. I feel like, and then same with and same with Fate Night watching Fate Zero. You know yeah. what? I do, I do feel like because those are the ones I've seen. Yeah, for sure. That I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Um, so all I remember, by the way, of the Rakshasa, yeah, is is from. Uh, Critical Role, yep, and that there was like some sort of cat-like feature to it. Okay, and then I went with the jazz hands that everyone was that you were talking about. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be a real bad in I'm, a real good I'm in actually, a real I'm, good way. I'm so excited for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what's fun about this game is real bad is also yeah. a real. Yeah, it'd be like watching Star Wars in the exact episode order. You ruin the biggest reveal. Yeah, exactly. Fate Tonight was the first game they they barely referenced the previous seven year battle, as I recall. Yeah, they, they it gets mentioned a couple times during it, which is why I think watching the Fate Tonight bit first and then going back to watch Fate Zero is the best the best combo. So it's not nothing spoiled really. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Nevi dropped some uh, some info in our like our Discord combo oh. from the game. <laughs> I just saw like a thing pop up yeah. on this. Fate say yeah, something with the Star Wars analogy. Yeah, it's okay. I, I I love anime. I just can't. I'll say it. I love it. It's my it's like one of my favorite forms of like content to watch. Oh, no, something on the uh, Maiden Abyss. Yeah, Maiden Abyss is phenomenal. There was actually a really cool detective one that came out was it in the summer. Robert uh, Downey Jr.'s uh, Sherlock Holmes. Yes, that's it. <laughs> that was the most detective story. Yeah. Uh, no, it was about like, uh, what was it? It was like about they were like serial killers, and then you you could detect like their like murder like wherever they were that you could detect their murderous intent, 
and then you could capture that you could capture those particles and then you they would bring it back to like their lab and they would create this world where they would send this like person who'd go into it and he'd be like oh i am the he, he wouldn't remember anything outside of the world he just remember that he is the greatest detective ever uh, and then would, would solve who the killer was in this world huh. it was really really interesting yeah, had a weird name. Yeah, I don't remember what it's called, but I remember it being it was really good. Yeah, Nevada and I would tend to watch animes on like the the season seasonal basis when they come out. So yeah, yeah I'm always looking for something cool. Yeah. Although what I really want, I looked it up how much it would cost me, and I can't justify it. But I really want to get the that Invincible comic. I think we've been talking about it before on the show. Comic. It's a comic Invincible from Robert Kirkman before Walking Dead. Oh. Oh, yeah. And and, okay. I, ID Invaded, yeah. Oh, it, it Invaded. Yeah. What? Oh, the, the anime I was talking about. It's called It Invaded. Oh. Yeah. 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 But the compendium has three compendiums for it. Oh. And they're like somewhere between 50 and $60 each. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, I want it. Yeah, I want it. I want it was like it. it was like Inception. Like had a love child. Yeah, exactly. Definitely like mind little mind bendy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, those big comics are are expensive. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it was id, not id. Yeah, for the human personality. Yeah, yeah, they they dealt they delve into that quite a bit. But yeah, I like the like kind of the big like comic book things like they're like that expensive like you see, I, I know, ready like, for you, the you, you buy one yeah go for it Man. you buy Fra one a couple months. Jessa! Jessa, jazz hands uh, <laughs> it's just <laughs> uh, okay so uh, a rakshasa is a person with a tiger head okay like, kind of tiger kind of like tiger body. Um, Made it more and, or less like a lion. Yeah, exactly. Um, and their hands are actually backwards. Like their thumbs are on the outside rather than the inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just flip the flip the thumbs, yeah. So pretty much exactly this. Yeah, you nailed it. Hey, everybody. All right, what's next? Uh, the other option, the other one we got was Baphomet. Uh, movie's Perfect Blue. Oh, I haven't seen Perfect Blue. The name rings a bell, though. I remember, oh, I remember my birthday when I was like, I don't know, 15 or 16. We went out and rented a bunch of, like, anime movies. And we got, like, a couple Ghosts in the Shells. And, oh boy, none of us were paying attention. It was so confusing. And like, one of those things I grew up with, like, uh, so it was like trying to watch anime on like YTV or like or like four kids or whatever um, and, like Fox on the Fox channel like in like the in the early years like everything was so hard to keep up with because they would keep like going back to like the first episode and like rinse repeat like, I remember watching uh, like I was trying to watch Don Hack sign and you know you get to a certain point and they just restart the entire anime all over again and then you, you lose a couple episodes or they finally catch up and then you miss that one then you, you tune in and they're on episode five out of 20 again like it's like what, what the heck is that cool is dot hex sign good uh i, I don't know I now that you're the full older <laughs> uh, um i, I like i like, I like the dot hack games because they they're kind of more in like the yeah, original like world of like stuck in a game um I like dot hack gu because I played the games for those ones. Those, those ones are really good. And like the dot hack sign games are like so it's like sign infection quarantine outbreak. Those games are so expensive. Like each game itself is like one hundred and thirty bucks, if not more. Yeah, because they're they're so hard to find. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, dot hack sign is better for people who remember MMOs before broadband. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the games are the games are really really fun though. It, it definitely gives us like MMO feel to it because like you play the game, you go through, and then you can like log out for a little bit 
and then you'll get mail from your friends and be like, hey, we, we had a full of fun today. Or like, we should go and do this and all that kind of stuff. So it was, it was, it was fun. Those were good games. Yeah, yeah. Dot Hack was is a good concept, but it's slow to watch. Yeah, uh, I saw people talking about it earlier. Log Horizon, really good, trapped in MMO one. Um, season two kind of like dipped a bit because uh, they had that one episode where it was just like this one. It's like the entire episode was this one guy's speech. And that's all, and he's just talking about how like how is like, it's like the pump up episode. We're gonna give you this like great speech. We're gonna fight and we're gonna win. And that was the entire like twenty three minutes of the episode. Come like on. a speech though? No, <laughs> it wasn't. It was like a speech on like I think like some like flashbacks. It was just yeah. It was, it was, it was a clip. It was like like a, a clip episode or what were they called? A flashback episode? Yeah, like a filler episode. Yeah. Oh man, what other good? There's so much good anime in the world. Um. The I tend to be quite particular about like uh, we we like watching like the death game ones. Uh, so things like Dead Man Wonderland are really really good. What's that one? Uh, oh man, it's been a long time. Uh, I think I think this kid gets like kidnapped and brought in because he can like he essentially he can blood bend. Okay. Yeah, and but he, he, then he's like forced to fight other people with build, abilities kind of in that same vein. Um. Yeah, so that's a really bad explanation of it. I just remember it being really good. Yeah, real. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if I was saying, oh, Stein's Gate. I feel like I'm there. Yeah, I'm there. I got Blood Band too. Uh, Stein's Gate, phenomenal. Um, it's about time travel and uh, Jelly Bananas. Um, yeah, Noragami, hey. you know, Monster. Yeah, just really good. I'll, I'll Welcome make a to list. Sean and Lee's anime hour. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll send you a list later because they're they're really good. So L champions, uh, Owen Tang just got it the last shiny for all core evergreens. Oh dang, that's big. That's a lot. That's a lot of shiny. Jeez. We really should have. Asked, oh yeah, we really should have asked for three kobolds in a trench coat since they're open to request today. All right, come on guys, you let me down. I specifically didn't choose uh, uh, dragon bait too, so. <laughs> Oh, you don't have to worry about that list, son. All right, Nevada's making a list for you. I'm making this, uh, buff on it. Buff on it. <laughs> buff, buff. Oh, buff on it. <laughs> the beach is yeah. that way. Uh, the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. It's the best movie. I actually have not seen those ones. I've not seen that. I've, I've, I've heard things about the, uh, was it the the seven it's like the seven episodes the the, the worst the great seven episodes or whatever they're called it's like the same episode over and over again for like a week like for seven episodes or something like that the endless seven that's what it is yeah what <laughs> what does that mean uh I don't want to spoil it <laughs> so I want to say it it's just yeah it's 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 a it's something that's really really weird that they did. It's seven episodes long. Yeah, it's it, it's so it's called it's uh, the anime is uh, the melancholy part he Suzumiya, and they have a, a section in it called the endless seven. All right, well, I'm pretty sure I'm getting an awesome cultivated list right now. Yeah, I imagine it's like getting popping up briefly yeah. on my computer because of our Discord. Yeah. So um, I'm into it. Yeah. That stuff. It, it was the most audacious act ever. Yeah, uh, people think you're making the tick, which I I'm totally cool with. Yeah, I really, I gave him just cargo pants. Um, <laughs> I didn't have any red or anything, so. Yeah. Yeah, you really flew for those ones today, man. Uh, yeah, whoops. Yeah, uh, whoops. What was that, two, six of them? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess it was, it was like the polar bear and, oh, is that Miles? Oh. Uh, so cute. Uh, Mr. Bean Zombie, I want a champion with a different buff based on the campaign you're in and generic one for time gates and events. Oh, kind of like how, um, Okoria does? When you get a buff for being in, like, 
water deep and stuff. Uh, could he do a uh, could he do a gif next? Oh, maybe. Still have ten minutes left, so probably whip up a gif. Oh, a gif. I was like, huh. Like a, I mean, like a random gif that people like. Yeah, no, I, I, I need to do, I need to do an animated gif on your on your. Uh, <laughs> on your like griddle. seven pancakes to to do yeah. stop. Animation. Then you gotta quickly like rotate them through. <laughs> uh, Man, I wish thing. gif was one of the earlier ones because then I would have been able to really put a little bit of gas in that one. Oh, oh wait, no wait. Gara says do laser beak in a kitchen sink. Oh, uh, I just, the problem is, I mean, I will, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But what? the issue is I, my color palette is so limited to what I would want to do with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's buff famine. I'm buff, I'm buff famine. <laughs> the beach is that way. Oh. <laughs> I'm just being silly at this point. Yeah. So we start getting seven, maybe even eight. So when are you what are you Halloweening? What are you gonna dress up as? Oh man, I have no idea. Coming up, Ogie. Yeah, that's a, it's a that's a hard thing. That's a hard question. Cause like we obviously we we, we stream on the thirtieth, so the day before Halloween. Yeah. So like I it's are you like gonna dress up. For yeah, like I feel obligated to come up to come wearing something. I feel like I have to. Right? I don't know what I want to do, though. That's the problem. Could you go buy one of those, like, Dungeon Master outfits from uh, uh, Spirit of Halloween. They're just beyond ridiculous. Yeah, the, Dr the Dritz costume. Yeah, I could get one of those. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about spending money on that, though. <laughs> if only you're... Your Vaxeldan would come sooner. Yeah. If he's a champion that damages anything else in the formation and they get strength for every dead sprite in the formation. Oh. I mean, you, we kind of already have that with with Strix. Right? If someone dies, you get a buff. You get a buff and then rinse repeat. Please don't dress him as a dark elf. Just dress him on this one. Yeah. <laughs> you got my back, my me, zombie. Thank you. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that anyway, so that's fine. Just as I wouldn't just as an elf I have to shave my beard. I have not. Ha I've this face has not seen clean shaven in, in a long time. <laughs> hey guys, I'm, I'm a drow. Whoa, and Sean, no, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, dressing is fine. Blackface isn't exactly it. Yeah, I see those episodes of Community. Yeah. I did actually. I considered doing Pumat again, but I don't know. We're just wearing the makeup all day. Just I don't know. I don't like it. It's the makeup and the note. I probably just do like a, a pink note. It's normal. Oh, not like the note. More necromancy. No, more necromancery. Yeah. Green screen, some pipe cleaners, and if you've got Google guys, you can be a beholder. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what we could do. I have. You guys have my green screen fabric at home. Hmm. Yeah, let people put you in a costume. Yeah. Well, Just give them the green screen. Yeah. I wonder, how, I wonder if we could do that, actually. Uh, no, see, I'm not coming with I'm just ideas that are coming up. I just, I just know I'm not going to do the work for it. <laughs> like, pardon me, like, I, right. I, I'll, I'll say I'll do this thing. Like, oh, I come out just as this. And I'm like, eh, no, nah, you get too lazy. <laughs> come as just as a zombie rex. Come and dance our costume. Eat a bunch of toy zombies before streaming. Just vomit them all up. Yeah. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> I do like the beholder idea. I was trying to think of like how to go about it. Yeah. Because like, we have like, like like we we bought like green fabric to use at home for green screen stuff. Um, but it's really just I mean it's just sitting in that closet right now. So maybe I could like just steal it, cut a hole into it, 
Um, attach eye socks to your headphones. Oh, give me that too, yeah. But I could like wear like the the green screen as like a circle as like a circle cope, circle cloak, pretty much. So it would, like kind of go down over the the chair. Man, what can we do for the? Do you know what we can do for the eyes and stuff? Hmm. Uh, I forgot this is like a thing you guys do. It was like, oh man, I have no idea. Yeah. I yeah, talked to a cosplayer girlfriend that is Nevada and see. We do a, a trip to ugh, Fabric Land or something. I don't know. I hate going to Fabric Land. <laughs> so we'll go to Fabric Land. It should be like a oh, different color than see. Oh, yeah. We need to find the same color. That's true. Hmm. We're only halfway through the painted pancakes stream already. And we have five minutes left, actually. So we're going to be in there. That means time gates are opening in five minutes. Uh, so hopefully everyone gets something good. I'm really excited. Do Saitama. <laughs> just shave my head. Oh, God, no. I just got a haircut. I'm not doing it. I think I'm allowed to go to Fabric Land right now. Considering the Fabric Horror I discovered. Yeah, you're, you're forbidden from going to Fabric Land. That's not okay. And then I'll technology today, the colors doesn't really matter as long as the static color without a shadow or highlight. Yeah, maybe we'll make it work. We got adorable skunk. <laughs> yeah. else. I can't wait to see him in it. That's gonna be that's gonna be great. Yeah. Just go ahead, Red Ranger. Yeah. I'm not gonna... I have I think I have an Akatsuki cloak somewhere. I can probably just slap that on. <laughs> I'm from Naruto. A lot of, yeah, like, I'm just, I'll just run across my screen like this. Yeah. Uh, any all uh, 1071? Uh, hi, Star Champions, like four days ago. Oh, hey, welcome. Hey, welcome. Hopefully you're having a lot of fun. Uh, You've unlocked the Grill Champions viewer achievement. Yeah. Uh, if you have any um, any questions, our Discord is super helpful. If you have any questions about like the how the game plays... Uh, or, you know, formations and what to do, what, what's next. Um, the Discord is a great place to hang out. A lot of fun people yeah, there. Got a great community with uh, oh, yeah. this game. Ready for the flip? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> These are from my last <laughs> or, or game. I, I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I actually forgot what you were drawing for a second. So I was just thinking about the Halloween stuff. <laughs> so... <laughs> In yeah. our D&D uh, &D game that we played with Lauren, uh, Lauren, Mars, Nevi, Garwar, me, Sean. Margaret. Uh, Margaret. Don't forget Margaret. Who basically took control in the game in such a good way. Like, here's what's going to happen next. Like, Margaret's speech to that druid oh. made me want to campaign this game so hard. Oh, yeah. Agreed. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, this is exactly. Yeah. We are not the good guys, sort of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, NL1071, I really want to know how to use the code uh, for the chest. Of course. Uh, so when you're in the game, if you go into your chest opening screen, uh, you'll see a button either on the bottom left that says uh, enter a locked combination or uh, the, the chest up on the top right with the chains on it. You can click on those. You'll get the little, uh, little scroll wheel that'll pop up and you can enter the code through there. Uh, if you're on Steam, uh, and I think any of the the web version ones, you can just actually copy paste. Uh, yeah, you can just copy paste it and hit enter, and they'll unlock it, and you'll get the chest, and then you can open it. Uh, Carver says we were the, we were the good guys, but good guys don't have to be nice to bad guys. Well, no, I think it's it's really interesting because we had six people in our party. Yeah, three of us were kind-hearted, friendly. You know. I, I'm you, basically your character and my character were middle ground uh, in the directions. Like oh, mine's yeah. middle ground, but sweet. And yours is middle ground. But stabby. Give me permission to stab. Yeah. yeah. Boss, what do you want me to do? Stab? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were like, like, how do you save this thing? Like, I make a stinky rock and throw it so it'll go away and I don't have to hurt anybody. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was Smash him with my shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, that that 
that was probably one of the most fun sessions. It, it was it's actually nice for me to be able to be a player again, rather than DMing. Because it's, it's been a long time since I've actually got a chance to play. Uh, okay, well, it is now 12 o'clock. Weekend buffs and time gates are open. So that means we're out for the day. Uh, of course, uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, for participating in the L Champions and Dungeons and Dragons communities. You are all awesome. We love you so much. Um, this show exists because of a number of amazing people behind the scenes, of course, including our co-producer, Sasha. Sasha! Sasha! Uh, uh, of course, as our partners at Dungeons and Dragons, Greg Bart Pelham, Allison Schalling, and Lisa. Uh, don't forget, 1 p.m. It's, it's your boy. It's Garwar. It's his guide to absolutely everything L Champions. Uh, we'll probably see you there. I might pop in. Uh, I'll probably eat lunch or something. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I got a lot of work to do today. Uh, so take care, guys, and we will see you next week. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Bye. I miss you already. <laughs> <laughs>